Hello everyone, uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, the English language uh, being an unphonetic language and what do I mean by that? You look at a word, you look at it as spelling and uh, spelling alone cannot uh, give you a 100% idea, a correct idea about the pronunciation and exact pronunciation of that word. It is not possible to guess the pronunciation of each word by only looking at uh, it as spelling, you know. It's very hard. So, so this is this is what we mean by uh, uh, unphonetic language. So, spelling and pronunciation; these are two different things. Yes, at times you might be able to guess the pronunciation, but not always. You know, there are a lot of words where, uh, you know, spelling and pronunciation they seem to be completely different things. No connection at all, like I have just said. There is a poem, uh, and I'll read that poem, and we'll discuss uh, what it is all about and uh, how it talks about the English language as an unphonetic language. I'll first read the complete poem. It is, uh, Dearest Creature in Creation, Study English Pronunciation. I will teach you in my verse. I sound like corpse, core, horse, and worse. I will keep you Susie busy, make your head with heat grow dizzy. Tear in eye your dress will tear, so shall I owe hear my prayer. Just compare heart, beard and her, dies and diet, lore and word. Sore and sword, retain in Britain, mind the latter how it is written. Now I surely will not plague you with such words as plague and ague, but be careful how you speak, say break and stake, but bleak and streak. Clone, oven, how and low, script, receipt, show, poem and toe. Uh, you'll get this uh, poem, you know, in the description, and you look at the poem, and I'm going to uh, demonstrate. I'm going to talk about uh, how it talks about uh, the English language as an unphonetic language. See the first line, dearest creature in creation. There are two words, uh, creature and creation creature creation you know c r e a t u r e creature you know e a t u r e creature another word c r e a t i o n creation so if that is creature this should have been like creation you know it's not like that, though they are spelled somewhat, you know, uh, the same. Creature, creation. Fine. De dearest creature in creation, study English pronunciation. I will teach you in my verse. V-E-R-S-E. -E. I will teach you in my verse. I sound like corpse. Core. Horse and worse. C. C O R P S E. Corpse. C O R P S. Core. H O R S E. Horse. W O R S E. Worse. So W O R S E. It rhymes with V E R S E. Like that is verse. This is worse. You know, the internal vowel is exactly the same. So if H O R S E. Horse. If it is horse. W O R S E should have been wars, which is not to be. So it is, I will teach you in my verse. I sound like corpse, cor, horse, and worse. I will keep you Susie busy. I will keep you Susie busy. Two words, S U Z Y, it's a name, Susie, B U S Y, busy. So S U Z Y is Susie, so B U S Y should have been like like boozy, you know, but it's not. So I will, uh, I will teach you in my verse. I sound like corpse, score horse, and worse. I will keep you, Susie, busy. Make your head with heat grow dizzy. So D I Z Z Y dizzy rhymes with B U S Y busy, which, which is absolutely absurd, you know. Uh, I will teach you in my verse. I sound like corpse, score horse, and worse. I will keep you, Susie, busy. Make your head with heat grow dizzy. Tear in eye, your dress will tear. 
T-E-A-R, T-E-A-R, so T-E-A-R as a noun is tear, you know, something that comes from your eyes while you're crying, so it's tear in, tear in eye, your dress will tear, so as verb, T-E-A-R is pronounced as tear, as noun it is tear, same spelling, different pronunciation, so tear in eye, your dress will tear, so shall I O hear my prayer. H E A R here rhymes with the first tear. And hear my prayer. P R A Y E R. Prayer and tear. You know, they they have internal vowel. Exactly the same. Tear and all your dress will tear. So shall I O hear my prayer. Then just compare heart, beard, and herd. Just compare heart, beard, and herd. Dies and diet. Lord and word. See, very confusing. Just compare heart. H-E-A-R-T. Heart. B-E-A-R-D. Beard. H-E-A-R-D. Heard. Three words. E-A-R-T. It's art. E-A-R-D. It's eared. E A R D, it's erd, you know, just compare hard, beard, and herd. Dies and diet, you know, D I E S, dies, D I E T, diet. So there is a diphthong in dies and a trithong in diet. Dies and diet, lord and word. See, L O R D, lord, W O R D, word. It's not word, you know. Lord and word. Just compare her beard and herd. Dies and diet, Lord and word. Sword and sword. Retain and Britain. Mind the letter how it is written. See, S W O R D. Sword. W is dropped. Sword. Sword. S W O R D. Sword. S W A R D. Sword. See, sword. Sword. Absolutely absurd. Nonsensical. I have no idea as to why we shouldn't pronounce that W in the word S-W-O-R-D. But that is how it is. It's unphonetic, you know. So, sword and sword. Retain and Britain. Two words. R-E-T-A-I-N. B-R-I-T-A-I-N. So, two words. Both the words have A-I-N, A-I-N in the end. So, it's retain. That is Britain. Tain. Tain. Sword and sword, retain and Britain, mind the latter, how it is written. Now, Britain, it exactly rhymes with written. Sword and sword, retain and Britain, mind the latter, how it is written. Now, I surely will not plague you with such words as plaque and ague. Plague you, P-L-A-G-U-E, plague. Now I surely will not plague you with such words as plaque, P-L-A-Q-U-E, plaque. It's, it has another pronunciation as plaque. So, pla uh, now I surely will not plague you with such words as plaque and ague, A-G-U-E, ague. Now I surely will not plague you with such words as plaque and ague, but be careful how you speak. But be careful how you speak. S-P-E-A-K. E-A-K. Speak. But be careful how you speak. Say break and steak. But bleak and streak. E-A. E-A. Like speak. It has E-A in it. Break. B-R-E-A-K. It has E-A in it. Steak. S-T-E-A-K. Steak. B-L-E-A-K. S-T-R-E-A-K. So, these are five words. So, all these five words have E-A in them. So, say, uh, but be careful how you speak. Say, break and steak, but bleak and streak. Cloven, oven, how and low. C-L-O-V-E-N, cloven, O-V-E-N, oven. So, it's not cloven, oven. No, it's cloven and oven. Cloven, oven, how and low, O-W-O-W, -O -W, two different pronunciations, cloven, oven, how and low, script, receipt, show, 
poem and toe. So I read this poem again. Dearest creature in creation, study English pronunciation. I will teach you in my verse. I sound like corpse, core, horse, and worse. I will keep you Susie busy. Make your head with heat grow dizzy. Tear in eye your dress will tear. So shall I owe oh, hear my prayer. Just compare heart, beard, and herd. Dies and diet, lord and word, sword and sword, retain and Britain, mind the latter how it is written, now I surely will not plague you with such words as plague and ague, but be careful how you speak, say break and stake, bubblique and streak, cloven, oven, how and low, script, receipt, show, poem and toe. Thank you.